So it's my second week with the Machine 2.0 software and I have taken a decision to literally just use Machine now probably for about a month and see how it goes. So I'm not going to use any other DAW, literally just Machine standalone and see how it goes. I've got a remix on the go here for DJ Nav and it's a track called Reflect. He sent me the parts last night and I just brought in a couple of elements, um, which is one of the um, the keyboard stab sounds and also the vocals. So that's all I'm using. Everything else is basically brand new. And I'm really enjoying using the hardware uh, to put this together. So I'm just gonna take you on a little tour of what I've got on the go at the moment. This is not necessarily gonna be um, in the actual finished release. No guarantee at all. Um, what I wanted to do was to get a real kind of dubby vibe or kind of bumpy. Um, old school kind of vibe i think that's going to suit it because it's going to be a vinyl release and um so i wanted to really focus on this key sound so i'm just going to show you here if i solo this it's a real classic kind of vibe um real kind of almost like kerry chandler style chord sound which is from the original track and so what i've done is basically let me just take this and we'll unmute some of these elements so i've got another chord to complement kind of filling in the gaps. I'm just gonna bring it over on the software here so you can see. And then basically I've made a little kind of shopping list here really just to um, get some elements that I can use. So I could take away the original one. And that's really clipped at the moment. I'll fix that up. I'll tell you something about this sound actually. You can see there, it's actually playing backwards. And that's got that nice kind of rise to the texture there. It's working really well. Another one. Now the thing about this sound was that it was very similar to the others. So what I wanted to do was to kind of grime it up a bit. And so that's why the sample rate reduction is going on there. So you can see 19.4K and uh, that's really roughing it up. So like that, it's an alternative texture there. And let me just see what else we got, another stab. So that kind of, yeah, I think that works nicely there. So the beats programmed in and then something to complement them. And I'll bring the bass in, drop the beats out. Just gonna shift onto the next bank and uh, on here, Got a whole bunch of stuff with some vocals. These are muted at the moment. Let me take that back. So that's that lot. So um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that. It's just the initial idea. So I've got myself a bit of a shopping list really in terms of kind of elements that I can use to structure it up and I'll start working on scenes and building all of that up. Um, just to give you a little breakdown of something on here, let me just have a look back onto the first group, um, sorry, bank. And uh, one of these is the base and that was just a little customization. Um, let me just take a look at this on the software. I'm gonna bring up the interface. Let me just go back, in fact, onto Massive, which I used. So this was a preset that was customized a little bit to get the, the kind of flavor that I wanted to get on there. So let's just have a listen to that. Right, that's everything playing together there, which is a bit chaotic. Um, so yeah, really now it's just a matter of trying to find out which um, elements work well for the structure and uh, take it from there. But anyway, look, I wanted to just show you guys uh, how it's going with Machine. It's going really well. And, um, you know, literally, I'm really enjoying focusing just on this hardware to program everything in and uh, get you know, the whole thing mixed down as well. You know, if I just come over to the software, just gonna show you that some of these elements, you know, I'm using the, the plugins, the native instruments ones you can see here for complete. Another thing that I'm doing is I'm using Span from Vox & Go. 
So if I want to get a sense of how things are with the frequencies when I'm working on headphones and stuff like that, it's quite nice to be able to see that. So I've been dropping in the span. There's a little kind of visual analyzer here and there. My master chain at the moment is Satin, which is this uh, amazing tape simulator from Yuhi. This is going into the solid bus compressor. In it, actually, in effect, the um, Satin is bus compressing already. So it's then going through this one. And then my trusty L2 as the last point on the stereo chain as my limiter. So um, let me just show you what's going on with them. Just gonna mute some elements. So you can see what's going on with the uh, gain reduction there. So ultimately, it's not pushing too hard into the limiter there. I mean, I'm going to be supplying this as a 24-bit file um, with some headroom for the mastering, yeah, because it's going to go on vinyl. So um, yeah, there's a little kind of um, look behind the scenes there. You know, it may change quite a lot, and uh, hopefully the guys are into it. I like the vibe. I think it's working. It complements the original mix. And um, yeah, as usual, if you have any comments, just give me a shout, and I'll see if I can get back to you. <laughs>